What's up everybody, if you want to see a happy sampling of Japanese noodles in downtown Tokyo, you've come to the right place. What we got here is a diverse array of soba and ramen and personally, I think it's pretty nice. So sit back and relax because the show is about to begin. Welcome to Akihabara, Tokyo. Not only is this neighborhood a great place to stock up on some gachapon and other collectibles, but it's also a great place to search out some wild ramen and soba varieties. I'm sorry, did I say wild? Because I think I meant to say buck wild. There's so many noodle restaurant varieties in this neighborhood, it'll make your head spin. Come to think of it, it might even make your dick spin. They don't play around in this neighborhood. I mean, a lot of these noodle restaurants in Akihabara are savage as fuck. They're high calorie concoctions with explosive flavor and specialty varieties that are hard to find elsewhere in Tokyo. I mean, Akihabara is the otaku capital of Japan and otakus aren't exactly known for being health nuts. That's why you see all this meaty, greasy goodness jammed into one calorie dense bowl. It's chicken soup for the otaku soul, baby. Now when I get myself some ramen or soba, I don't want a delicate affair, I want an atomic bomb of flavor blasting off all up in my mouth. As the saying goes, you better go buck wild or go home, and as you can see, there's some pretty nice noodle options here. I mean, when they're blasting some meat with a blowtorch, you know you've come to a quality establishment. Now sometimes I like to take the life is like a box of chocolates approach and just get a random bowl of noodles on a whim. Here I got some abura soba, which is basically a bowl of noodles that doesn't have soup, rather it has some sauces on top. In this case, we got two sauces at play. We got the sauce at the bottom, which tastes almost soy sauce-esque, and then we got the sauce at the top. This whitish sauce had a kind of starchy, almost tofu-esque flavor going down. Now based on the way this bowl looked, I thought it would taste fucking incredible, but I was actually quite surprised once I bit into that meat and noodles. I mean, for some strange reason, that meat and white sauce at the top were cold, but the noodles at the bottom were hot. On top of that, that white sauce was kind of on the bland side. It wasn't my style, let's just put it that way. I guess you could say that soba did not change my life. Now another day I was cruising around the mean streets of Akihabara and I came across some maze soba. I figured I'd give it a go. I thought maybe, just maybe, I'd have better luck this time, so I got ready to maze the fuck out of that soba. Now what's maze soba, you ask? Well, let me explain it to you real simple-like. It's a Taiwanese-inspired soupless soba bowl. It's got some minced vegetables, some minced meat, and a whole lot of spices popping off in this mother. Hell, it's even got a raw egg. Seems pretty buck wild if you ask me. Now in case you didn't know, before you eat that maze soba, you best be stirring that thing nice and thorough like. So after I stirred that puppy, I started chowing down in a hunger crazed frenzy. There was a wide variety of tastes popping off in my mouth and it was tasting pretty nice, dare I say decent. The dominant flavors I was tasting were some peppery zestiness and some sesame powder. I'd have to say overall, this was an improvement over that previous soba bowl I had. On the other hand, it's not the best maze soba I've ever had either. It did not expand my horizons in the way that I expected, capiche? So another day I was cruising around the mean streets of Akihabara when I came across this place called Bankara Ramen. The place had some oishi so signage and it also had some pretty nice food models so I decided to check it out. So I got me the Kara Negi Ban Kara Bowl and wow, just fucking wow, look at that greasy goodness glistening in the light. This ain't your grandma's ramen right here, this is some seriously intense shit. I mean, this is some Kara Negi we got here, aka spicy spring onions. Now I don't know how and I don't know why, but something about seeing that spicy red Negi action must have flipped some kind of switch deep inside my reptilian brain. I felt like a mad bull about to charge full fucking throttle straight toward that bull. So I got ready to sample that broth and holy mother of dogs. That broth was fucking incredible. It had a soy saucy miso flavor that was so jam packed with flavor I damn near lost my mind. Next I moved on to that spicy negi action. 
I chomped down on a few of those pieces and they almost tasted like something you could get in Korea, not Japan. They tasted like unfermented kimchi and they were oishi beyond belief, baby. Next, I moved on to those noodles, jammed them down the hatch, and oh my dog. This fucking settles it. This is officially my new favorite ramen in all of Japan. I mean, never before have I had such a spicy, flavor-packed, and unique bowl of ramen. It's just that good, baby cakes. So because I love that ramen so much, I decided to go back to that ramen joint and try another bowl out. This time I tried out the Kakuni Bankara Bowl, aka the stewed meat bowl. And man, oh man, that stewed meat is shining like there's no tomorrow. Now personally, I thought I was worth eating that innocent animal meat, so I got ready to chow down on that bad boy. Gotta show those finely stewed innocent animals who's boss. Now the exact nanosecond that I savagely bit into that meat, I could tell its quality was off the charts. It was tasting juicy as hell, soft to the max, and succulent as fuck. Definitely some life-changing meat right there, that's for damn sure. Now as far as those noodles and broth are concerned, I thought they were pretty good, although a tad too salty for my liking. I definitely vastly prefer that spicy bowl I had earlier. What can I say? I like a little zest in my life. Oh, and by the way, if you like Buck Wild Ramen reviews, then feel fucking free to check out some of my other ramen videos. I've got an LA ramen tour, and I've got an Osaka chow tour, just to name a few. I've got those links in the description box. And as always, thanks for watching this video. Why don't you leave a comment? Let me know what you think.